iFootage legitimately revolutionized what we can expect from LED lights nowadays, but there's one thing that's been holding them back. In this video, I wanna cover their new SL1 200 BNA bicolor light, as well as their new Fresnel lenses and Mini Bowens intensifier. Some modifiers like lenses are not really universal because they're designed for the LED chip to sit at a precise distance within the lens to focus properly. Since iFootage has not had any lens modifiers up to this point, they haven't been a viable option for some people in the past. With that said, I'm only quickly gonna cover the light itself because I want to focus more on the new focusing lenses. I'll have a link to my original Anglerfish light review if you wanna check that out after this and see all the details on what makes these lights so great. The SL1 200 BNA is now the brightest bicolor option from iFootage and fills out what I consider to be a complete basic lighting lineup. The SL1 series naming scheme includes DN and BN lights as well as DNA and BNA lights. The D stands for daylight and the B stands for bicolor and the lights ending with A have the controls integrated into the head unit of the light themselves while the ones without A have an external control box. So as expected, the SL1 200 BNA is a 200 watt bicolor light with the controls integrated into the light head. You can adjust the brightness in increments of just 0.1% and the color temperature in increments of just 50 Kelvin. You also get a selection of pretty highly customizable special effects where you can adjust things like the speed, frequency, and color temperature. The Anglerfish lights also support the Lumen Plus mobile app where you can control multiple lights at once and it makes it easier to adjust settings on things like the special effects. That's all fine and good, but what makes these lights so special is their crazy high color accuracy. Some other brands and lights are starting to incorporate similar technology, but iFootage is on what they call LED 4.0, and it is significantly better than pretty much every other LED that you're used to. Normally, I save the brightness and color accuracy measurements for the end of the video, but I'm putting them here because I don't want you to miss them. Everything about the SL1 200 BNA is great. The CCT is accurate to what the screen says within 200 Kelvin. The tint is almost perfectly neutral at both the tungsten and daylight ends. All the individual R values are absurdly good and the SSI is so high it's a borderline joke. At 5500 Kelvin it's 83 and at 3200 Kelvin it's 91. Typical LEDs that are considered great are around 74 on the daylight end and 85 on the tungsten end. So the numbers from the iFootage light are almost mind boggling. Needless to say, if you want the absolute best color accuracy from lights, there's currently no better choice. The SL1 200 BNA is also as bright as most daylight only 200 watt lights I've tested. So it truly is the best of both worlds when it comes to brightness and color accuracy. Since their very first COB lights, iFootage has expanded into panel lights and pocket lights and now a more complete modifier selection, which is a bigger deal than it might seem. When you have mismatched lenses and lights, they just lose efficiency and power so they're not as bright, and sometimes you can even get weird patterns in the light output. They've already had good soft boxes and lanterns available, but some people have been excited yet hesitant to switch simply because they need lens modifiers in their workflow. The good news is that now we've got matching Fresnel lenses for all the lights in their lineup, as well as their new Mini Bowens light intensifier. Like all the iFootage gear I've tested, the fit, finish, and feel of these new accessories is top notch. The standard Bowens Fresnel can focus the beam angle between 12 and 40 degrees, the Mini Bowens Fresnel from 8 to 35 degrees, and the Mini Bowens intensifier fire from 15 to 50 degrees. One thing to note is that as you zoom the Fresnel lenses, the element telescopes out so they get longer. The lens on the Mini Bowens intensifier moves internally, meaning when you zoom in with that one, the footprint of the modifier doesn't change except at full zoom where about half an inch of the lens dome sticks out. The Fresnel lenses come with barn doors and a grid, and the Mini Bowens intensifier comes with barn doors but no grid. Apart from that, I'm sure you're wondering like I did what the practical difference is between the Fresnel lenses and the light intensifier. To give you the best idea of how these modifiers work, I'm gonna compare these lights bare bulb, with the stock reflector and with the lenses at different focal lengths. First is the SL1 200 BNA, which is a Bowens mount light. With the stock reflector attached, the light is about four times brighter than it is bare bulb, 
obviously with a tighter beam angle and a more dramatic fall off into shadow at the edges. With the Bowen's Fresnel attached and fully zoomed out at 40 degrees, it's about five times brighter than bare bulb and produces a tighter beam angle than the reflector. With the Bowen's Fresnel fully zoomed in at 12 degrees, it's around 13 times brighter than the bare bulb and expectedly creates a tight spotlight effect, but still has relatively soft fall off at the edges. Now let's look at the SL1 130 DNA, which is one of their mini Bowens mount lights. With the sock reflector attached, the light is about four times brighter than it is bare bulb and has a slightly harsher fall off at the edges than the full sized Bowens reflector. With the mini Bowens intensifier attached and fully zoomed out at 50 degrees, it's about 2.5 times brighter than the bare bulb and has a similar beam angle as the reflector, but a much smoother light fall off at the edges. With the light intensifier fully zoomed in at 15 degrees, it's about 12 times brighter than the bare bulb, and again, very spotlighty. With the mini Bowen's Fresnel lens fully zoomed out at 35 degrees, it's about six times brighter than the bare bulb. And with the mini Bowen's Fresnel fully zoomed in, it's about 20 times brighter, which is not surprising given that it produces just an eight degree beam angle. There is one other thing that I experienced during testing that I wanted to share. The Mini Bowens Fresnel is on the verge of being too heavy for the smaller lights. So when you have the Mini Bowens Fresnel fully zoomed in with the barn doors attached, you really kind of have to crank the angle adjustment tightening handle down to keep it from sagging. With that said, the Mini Bowens Intensifier is a better match for the smaller lights because it's lighter and more compact, so I think it's a great pairing. If you've been waiting for the iFootage lighting ecosystem to mature a bit before buying in, I think the time has come. Overall, I highly recommend all the iFootage lights because they're well made, extremely color accurate, and now they have every modifier you could ever need. But what do you think? Leave a comment and let me know if there's still another reason keeping you from trying these lights. Links are in the description if you wanna check them out further. And if you buy anything at all after using my links, that's the best way to support my channel at no extra cost to you. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.